Today we're looking at this DTP08 counterbalance drum lifter. This unit's designed for lifting drums from 50 litres up to 220 litres, and these drums can be steel, plastic or fibreboard. We've got a range of drums here on this pallet, and this unit is well suited to loading pallets, containment buns or other machinery. This is a counterbalance model, which means the drum is held at the front, and you can see there's no legs or anything beneath the drum. The weight of the drum is counteracted by a counterweight in this back box here. So this is, makes it very easy to load machines because you don't have to worry about the legs clashing into the machine. We'll now show you how it works. So to pick up this 200 litre steel drum, we need to bring our catch here at the front, slightly above the drum, and we do that using this pump handle here. So we pump the handle, which raises up the catch. We can then bring the unit forward, like so. So the catch is above the drum. We then have a lowering lever here. So this, this lowering lever, we can index it so the handle's in any direction we like, and then we rotate it anti-clockwise to lower down the gripper. So we lower it down. The top hook goes over the top edge of the drum, and the bottom toggle, or bottom hook, goes beneath the lip. We then take our pump handle and begin to pump to raise the drum up off the pallet. We only need to lift it a few inches off the pallet. It doesn't need to be at maximum lift because we're going to place it down on the floor here. And we then manoeuvre the unit around. This machine has a rear wheel which is steered by this tiller. So we've got 90 degrees in either direction for steering. So in this case, like I'm hard over, you can see we get a very tight turn if needed. So if we're in a confined area, you can see we've got lots of manoeuvrability. And it's very easy. This drum weighs 200 kilograms. And you can see it's no effort at all. Now we're just going to place this drum down next to the other drums here. We lower down, again, using this lever, turning anti-clockwise. And we just want to lower it down enough so that the weight comes off the hook at the front. We don't need to lower it down all the way. So we just, as soon as the weight comes off the grip at the front, we can just lift it up and pull it back like so. We can then pull our machine back and we're ready to go get another drum. This Mauser drum we need to adjust the catch for because it has a different design of top lip. The lip is different to this open top steel. So we'll show you how to adjust that now. We're now looking at the ladder rack at the front of our drum lifter. We have our catch assembly here mounted at the top and we have our rack which travels vertically top to bottom. We can position the whole catch at different levels on this rack, depending on the height of drum we're handling. So for a short drum, we'd bring the catch all the way down to this bottom area, and for a tall drum, we'd keep it in the higher area. To adjust the position, what we do is we remove this locking pin on this far side, we pull this out and remove it, and we can now position it where we want. So we hold this bottom bar and hold the top of the catch and lift it free. We can then lower it down to a new position and these locating pins hold it in position. For this Mauser drum we're going to handle, we actually need it in one of the higher positions. So I'm going to raise it up and hook it in and then we refit our locking pin through the side of the catch. We also need to adjust the top hook to suit the unusual, the large lip of the Mauser drum. Again, we have a pin so we we take a second pin, which is the higher of the two pins, and remove this. And we'll be sure to hold the top hook while we do it. So I've taken the pin out, and this top hook can actually be completely removed. We have a number of different holes, different settings, which you'll find in the instruction manual. And for this drum, we're going to put it in the furthest forward hole. So we refit it and slot our pin through. And this has moved our top hook further forward, which is better suited to the plastic drum we need to handle. We also have at the bottom here a kick plate. This kick plate is needed for steel 200 litre drums, but for the Mauser and most plastic drums, you can fold this up and it's not needed. So we push the unit forward towards the drum. Our gripper again is positioned above the drum. We then use our lowering lever to lower the gripper down over the top lip of the Mauser drum. Visually, I can see the top hook is engaged and the bottom hook both beneath and above the lip accordingly. 
We're then ready to lift. So again, take our pump handle, full strokes of a pump to raise the drum up. It's very easy to pump. There's a full drum of water and you see there's not much force needed at all. Once raised, we can pull the unit backwards. And in this case, we'll just position the drum and place it on the ground here. So happy with that position, I'm going to lower it down. Again, we don't need to lower it too far, just until the weight comes off the catch. And we lift up the catch at the front and pull the unit away. We're now clear. These drum lifters come in two different variants for different drum weights. This shorter model will handle drums up to 250 kilograms and the longer model will handle up to 350 kilograms. We also offer different height units, so these units lift drums 420 millimetres clear of the ground, but we offer various heights for tall lift applications. All these units are available ATEX rated, so if you have a flammable or an explosive area, we can ATEX rate these units so they're suitable for your zoned areas. We also offer them in stainless steel, so if you've got a food area or maybe a pharmaceutical company, we can accommodate you there. Additionally, some customers choose to fit load cell weighing systems. So we can integrate a load cell which will tell you the exact weight of a drum to the nearest 0.1 of a kilogram or to the nearest 100 grams. We can also finally offer powered options. So if you'd like powered lift or powered drive, so you drive the unit around with a tiller and a control system, which would be battery powered, we can also offer that as well.